Saturday night, the Tri-City Storm played host to the Dubuque Fighting Saints for the first time at home this season in a battle between East and West of the USHL. I'm Adam McLaughlin here at the Viero Event Center. This game was a seesaw battle where both teams traded goals throughout the night. However, it was the Dubuque Fighting Saints who earned a 5-3 victory in this one. For the Storm, though, they saw two goals on the night from Joel Lesperance with his 20th and 21st goals on the season. It was also Chris Wilkie in this one who extended his point streak to five games in a row, but the Storm fell short late as Dubuque exited Kearney with a 5-3 win. And here's Saturday's highlights. Diving play by Curry, knocks it loose, and Berger shoots it all the way down. Reich had a piece of it with a stick, but Lebowski off the bench comes to get it. Had Mayer at the top, and now here comes Dubuque as Gulkowski fell down. Here's the Fighting Saints, a chance in front, they shoot and score. Jacob Benson, a power play goal for Dubuque, makes it 1-0 Fighting Saints. Larson steers it to Sasir behind the storm net. Now far side, Christian Horn. Horn past the red line, into the zone, finds Lesperance, he shoots and scores! Joel Lesperance ties the game at one, and the teddy bears come flying here at the Vienna Med Center. It's Lesperance who scores from Christian Horn, and it's time for the teddy bear toss here at the Viero Event Center. Here comes Mayer, it's a rush shorthanded. Mayer passes an overshot, save made, rebound goes wide. Wilkie comes over to try to poke it free. Gambro got it back to the far side for Elms. Elms up the far side, final seconds of the period. Alex Privatera into the zone, he stops, and that'll be it for the first period. Mayer on the far side, into the zone. Stopped, kept in by Eastman. Down low, McMurphy behind the net. Looks to the chance in the front. It was deflected wide of the net. Mayer with a shot was blocked. McMurphy shoots, blocked in front. Another shot saved made by Reich. And now it's moved by Dubuque through neutral ice. Moved in on side. Here's Gambrel to the net, shoots, and it went off the post. And it's still loose here for Dubuque. Another chance for the Fighting Saints. Put in front and a score. It's Eric Robinson that scores for Dubuque. Now on the far side as Berger takes it over. Berger took a hit there, moved by Curry to the center to score! Chris Wilkie for Tri-City ties it up. 2-2 the score, the Storm respond once again. Pat Curry on the first assist, nice job by Tri-City. To Mayer on the near side, bank forward for McMurphy. McMurphy has the possession, but fanned on it. Here's Seamus Malone, he shoots and scores! McMurphy turned it over and Seamus Malone with an unassisted goal makes it three to two to Buke. Berger up the far side wall, not out, kept in nicely there. By Benson, Benson behind the net, centering pass and a score. What a pass by Benson in front. And it's a four to two lead for Dubuque. After two periods, Gomez, nice hit on Iserman on the far side and now here's Lesperance. Lesperance into the zone. Lesperance to the net, he shoots and scores! Joel Lesperance, his second goal of the night, makes it a one goal game with 17.43 to go. Kermitarian wants to race with it, he's into the zone, he shoots, save Levine, rebound loose, it's still loose there, Levine made a save, another save, and he hangs on! Hayden Levine with a couple big saves. So Jim Holton's pulled the net minor. He's looking for an equalizer. Lesperance on the faceoff. On the far side, it's out of the zone. It's rolling towards the net. Cecilia's got to go get it, and it's in. The Storm get back to their home ice here at the VRO Event Center this Friday and Saturday night against the Sioux Falls Stampede. And we hope to see you here at the games.